Hello, Katty here from followcatty.com. Just checking. What's wrong? Hello, hello. Who is with me today? I'm a bit earlier, but it's thunder outside, so we might have the rain soon. So, yes, it's working, and I'm going to share. How are you today? So, who is with me today? I shut your timeline. No, I don't want to share it on my timeline again. I want to share. On my page so um, my page hi who is with me you can see one eye and Kathy perfect so I can see one eye who's with me today okay that is done so today we're going to talk about how to become an entrepreneur and a successful entrepreneur because a lot of people want to build their business online I'm going to switch off one I don't know why I delete. Uh, put. So a lot of people want to uh, build their business online, being an entrepreneur, but sometimes it can be very hard to start and doing your business. Hi, Coffee, how are you? So that's why uh, when you want to be an entrepreneur, hi, Kadim, you have to have your mindset, your mindset set up and making sure that you do um, you do want to do and do want to achieve what uh, you want to do and your dream and and that's why it's important that you have certain mindsets so I'm going to give you a few uh, I -D, a few tips just to make sure that you are in the right mind if you want to be an entrepreneur because a lot of people wants to um, to be having their own business but they're not ready to put the work they're not ready to uh, do long hours and some people would prefer to be doing a nine to five uh, job and not having to worry about it about the, during the weekend or in the evening time. So when you're an entrepreneur, know that you have to be, uh, you know, you have to be available most of the time and you have to make contact with people. So there are a few things that you have to do if you want to be an entrepreneur. So uh, the first one you have to do, hi, hi, coffee, you're here. <laughs> So you have to set your goals and that is very important that when you want to start being an entrepreneur, you have your why, why you want to do it and you need to set your goals, your long term goals and your short term goals, what you want to do. Like everybody knows since, you know, everybody follows me that my goal is to have my spa, to have my own product and that's what I'm doing. I'm building everything bit by bits because I want to achieve that. It's not going to be done in one day. I mean, I'm working for the last few years, but it's getting there. So you have to do your goals. You have to write everything you want to do and you have to be patient. Nothing happened overnight and that's why it's important you are patient and you're doing everything step by step. So having a plan, having a goal and plan, uh, having everything uh, in writing and setting up your goals, you'll be able to, uh, to follow everything you want to do hi michael so that's why setting your goals is very important um you be realistic don't think like my spa i'm not going to have it done next year but i have already the land so i'm building my bit by bits all my uh, network i'm working hard enough to get money and then bit by bits i'm getting everything my project should be here this week so that is as well something else that is coming up but I'm working on it since um, last December, doing the label, doing everything. So it's not done overnight. So that's why when you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to be patient. And that is something sometimes people are not very patient, unfortunately, and they want to get rich in a few days and that doesn't happen, right? So set up your goals, make sure that you have everything in writing. The, for example, the 90 days, the three months, six months, year, my main goal is in five year time. In five years time in Jamaica, you'll see my spa, okay? All done, everything is in my head. I have everything that, you know, to push me to realize that. Hi Cornelia, how are you today? It's raining here, so the network is not good. Oh, sorry, coffee. Here, it's going to rain soon, and that's why there is some thunder, and I want you to do everything before, um, you know, it's too late. Uh, you're going to be okay. Just continue seeking power, energy, health, and wealth, and the source. 
exactly and that is the thing that I do every morning and that's my ritual when I um, when I wake up in the morning I do um, I do take my five ten minutes so first I'm grateful with everything I have and grateful with the family with my friend and I pray for my family and then I do put uh, in my head all my goal everything I want to do everything I want to achieve today tomorrow and in the next few years okay so that is important to put that in your mind in the morning and before you go to bed the energy that we have around us is amazing I don't want to talk too much about it because some people might think I'm a crazy woman but um, when you are in this network marketing we are do believe in energy and we do believe is everything around us and the attraction and we attract what we want what we ask for if we work for it as well so that's why it's important that you do this ritual in the morning and in the evening time believe in yourself and that is a lot of people don't believe in themselves enough and that's why it's going to be um, you know they don't they don't follow their dreams we are around us. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Fine, thanks, Han. Hope you're well. The joys of tropical weather. Yes, it's nice here. Even if it's raining, it's still very warm here. So um, that's why Jamaica is a very good location for having a spa, my retreat. And uh, that is, we made plans over the weekend and I'm very happy. Anyway, so that is the first thing you have to do if you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to be a successful entrepreneur. Get set up your goals right then you need to have a strong mindset if you want to be an entrepreneur you have to know that you're going to have rejections you have to have you're going to have objections you have to have nasty nasty people talking to you or don't believe what you're doing or even laughing at what you're doing so that's why it's important that you have a really strong mindset that you do believe in what you're doing and then you are just focusing of what is good for you okay put the negativity beside stay with positive people make sure that you do um, you do uh, put your mindset into everything you want to do okay so that is very important that you have a strong mindset because you're going to have some um, people that are not going to be nice to you you're going to have rejections you're going to have some challenges even doing you know i try to do and change a few things on my fan page this morning to me three hours and sometimes i'm like oh but you have to do it i mean i'm not that technical and i know that i'm not a techie person so it takes more time for me to do it but then again we have to work on it when you're an entrepreneur you have to face what you're going to uh, to do same thing you need to to get ready to be out of your comfort zone like taking the phone talking to strangers or going and do some videos so if you want to be a successful entrepreneur you really need to get out of your comfort zone and that is my number two then number three is discipline you need to get um, to make sure that you are consistent on what you're doing if you're not consistent if you're not um if you're not doing um you know putting every every time something on your uh, Facebook if you think that putting one quote every two weeks is enough it's not going to work out so that's why it's you have to be consistent and you need to have a discipline what i did a few weeks ago a few days ago i don't remember i did a, a live as well saying all the things you have to do just to make sure that you have scheduled your post you can schedule your post on your fan page you can schedule your uh, email if you have e a weaver i do use a weaver but if you have an autoresponder you can always broadcast and um, publish it later on so you can prepare everything if one day for example you have a bit of more time what you can do is you can just check um, you know what you can do you can um, schedule everything if one day you know you have plenty of time schedule as many things as you can do pictures uh, I found the um, actually the words work very good for my Instagram and then I put it on Facebook words and it takes a few minutes really you take the coach you take the pictures and it does uh, so depending what uh, how long where you are I paid 
$3.99, but I know in the US it's only $1.99, so you can use that. It's worthwhile, brilliant, brilliant app, and it takes a few seconds to do it. So that was my third one, discipline and consistency. You need to be, if you really want to be an entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur, you really need to have this discipline. Otherwise, it's just a hobby that might cost you a lot of money because when you do trainings, it costs money. But if you want to be successful, you need to be um, really consistent with everything you're doing. Fourth is when you are building a team and it's important that you are making your team special or if for example you start to have people into your team and um, even customers, uh, make sure that you f you make them feel special or uh, when they do something great, just reward them. So you keep your team happy and a happy team means money because they're still, uh, they are still going to follow you, they are still going to buy from you because uh, people buy from people. If you have a good relationship, if you are, um, are with them all the time, if you are consistent and doing some training with them, if you reward them, and if someone feels good, you know, around someone else, you kind of stay with this person. So if, you know, so that's why it's important that you take really good care of your team members or your customers. Number five is marketing and training. I always say that you need to make sure that you do constantly train yourself making sure that you do get some uh, so training you um, you listen to lives or you listen to other people on youtube but make sure that you do continue training it's not like when you are done something and then that's it you are going to um, to finish doing your training you really need to constantly learn so then you can teach your team and then they'll duplicate and that is important that you do that because if you don't uh cont you know there is always involvement and and you'll see even on facebook on instagram the it's always changing so that's why it's very important to continue to do your trainings okay so then you have number so that was number five so marketing and training constantly number six prospecting don't forget, Coucou Alexandre, don't forget that you have to prospect every day. So you have to follow people, you have to connect with people and you have to, uh, to take your phone and just connect with people all the time. Don't forget the prospecting part because that is the thing that most of the time people don't. And I know when I started it was something that didn't like it because it's, um, hi DJ. Uh, because you feel like you are I was kind of shy because I, I kind of wasn't uh, very I, I didn't I didn't know how to start the conversation and I didn't know how to uh, to do around you know to talk about what I'm doing so you have you're going to start you have some script if you want to try, try the script but it's not very good but try to talk about one picture talk about their um, what they have on their timeline but you have to prospect you have to connect with people if you don't do that nobody's going to follow you so uh minimum 10 people a day if you can do more it's it's good what you do go to your niche go to uh where you're going to where you know that you're going to have the people that are going to follow you then follow them go and talk about what they have on their timeline as i said talk about uh don't 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 and that's something don't send your link don't pitch them just talk as a normal person build relationship it's what i always say you need to build report you have to be report before you send your link so prospecting is the main key if you're too shy if you can't even and the good thing as well you can do an audio or even a little video and that is great because people see you and they they kind of connect with you or not so that depends but it's great to do this way so make sure that you do that connect with people every day so the prospecting was number six and the leadership seven so leadership you have to uh, show posture you have to uh, show that you're an authority person and you know what you're talking about so making sure that you are always even if you have some negative comment keep your posture and always respond uh, you know kind of very professionally what I would recommend you, and it's what I see sometimes on timeline, don't put negative stuff. If you have someone that wasn't very nice with you or whatever,
Just make sure that you're always putting on a positive quotes, positive things into your timeline. If you have your audience seeing that you're always saying something to you, it's negative and then they might not follow you. So that is something I would recommend you. I see my, um, my network, you know, my connection is starting up. But uh, so that's what I wanted to say today. I'm not going to stay too long because I think my uh, connections are going to last. Uh, so thank you again. So you can see more of my uh, videos on my Facebook, of course, on my fan page. I do blogs. So I did a blog about it. I'm going to put this video, which is www.followcathy.com. I have my YouTube channel as well, where you can see all the videos. So I just want you to go back. So what you need to know to be an entrepreneur, because it's not done to everybody. It's not done. I mean, it's not a given, you know, you're not born to be an entrepreneur. Some people can do it and they won't do it because they are not going to work and do that for, um, you know, for a living. They prefer to do their nine to five jobs and that's it. They have no, no problem. They go home, they can, you know, play with their kids. And the good thing is everybody is different, which is great because if everybody wanted to be an entrepreneur, that would be a disaster. So what you need to do is making sure that you set your goals. Uh, you have a strong mindset discipline uh, ability to feel to to put your uh, team as if they are special or your customer taking care of them marketing always train all the time that's number five prospecting don't be afraid to take your phone to prospect on facebook or instagram whatever reply follow people if they send you some nice uh, um, comment always reply to them thank you Didi. a lot of very good advice thank you and leadership be um show yourself as an authority person that you are an authority figure that you are a leader that you're here to help them and always think of people before you you think about making money think about what you're going to give them what you're going to help them doing uh to solve their problem and that is the main thing don't think only of bringing money all the time with you or uh, when you're going to prospect say oh i'm going to have this person with me no think about helping them and you'll see so that we said at the start the universe is good and you attract the right person and if they like your personality if they like you they will come to you and they'll be attracted to you all right so thank you guys again and i hope my connection is not that bad and um i wish you a wonderful evening until depending when you're going to watch it but uh, i'm going to as i said uh put the link for my blog and you can see it as well this video on my youtube channel i have a lot of uh videos so if you want to go and if you have any questions just reach out to me all right thank you guys and i'll talk to you tomorrow bye